Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So sit back, relax. This is a new type of format I'm gonna try. It's I'm actually moving around in game, but to land right here. And we're gonna have a pretty in-depth discussion. And the reason why I wanted to try this live is to be able to give my thoughts, but have it be really unfiltered to where I'm not trying to sound perfect to some sort of script and really have a conversation with you guys. And I feel like this might be a little bit more interesting to discuss. All I have on the left of me are bullet points. I tried recording this earlier and I feel like initially, let's be honest, I'm gonna suck at this type of format. But I think today's video is pretty important because I think it's the future of Apex as the game is starting to, I guess you could say really evolve and grow. And I think there's a bigger discrepancy between what it means to be a casual and you could say content creator, somebody who sweats a lot in this game, puts a lot of time and effort in. You'll notice I'm midway through in this round. This LTM is about to disappear, and there's a lot of debate about this as well. So what we're going to talk about today is sit back, relax. It's going to be easy going. I'm not going to get to the point right away. So before anybody comments, say, just Daz, get to the point. That's not the point of the video. We're going to be talking a whole lot about different things. Now, we're going to call out the fact that content creators are hypocritical. We're going to talk about this is a squad-based game. We're going to talk about Reddit and their harshness towards creators and the fact that casuals dislike them. And we're talking about how the similar time frame of both casuals and their goals are the same as creators, in my opinion. And that's why I'm calling them out. I'm kind of calling all, all of us out in this video. I think it's kind of funny. I think we're going to find some things. Now, we'll talk about some of the LTM and we'll talk about Respawn as well and their hand in this and the fact that this game is getting so much older and what that means. I don't know how good my gameplay is going to be trying to do this live, but it could be pretty fun and entertaining. We'll see. Maybe I'll get at least a clip or something. And I'm going to pause in between because my brain can't really talk and do things at the same time. But I will do the best I can. And hopefully if it impresses, it impresses. If it doesn't, well, here we are. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the fact that content creators are sweating endlessly in this game. And why that frustrates the casual player base. I mean, most people are here to play a video game, right? They're here to just have a good time and relax. And then meanwhile, everybody is sweating like crazy. Making the game a lot more difficult than it really needs to be, right? But then again, we also have on the opposite end, I healed the wrong person there. We have the opposite end, casuals, who are also trying their best to win, and then creators getting upset because they feel that the casuals are sweating too hard. Like they're making the game too difficult because they can't get content. Which isn't that, is that crazy to think about? The fact creators, I mean, we see it on Twitter. This is kind of why I started thinking about this a lot. We sit on Twitter where casuals are upset or sorry creators are upset because they feel like they can't get content because people are holding hands they won't separate from their squad you know why are they three stacking but i mean what are casuals supposed to do how are they supposed to counter the fact that you know creators are sweating and trying to get content and trying to get you know those 20 elimination games and high damage games what are they what are they supposed to do essentially i mean the answer would be you know that they would uh oh gosh we're dead i went in like a big dummy that's fine. So, and I, I leave this question to you guys as well, for all of you guys watching. What what are you supposed to do, right? And well, let's let's kind of skip to one of them that's a little later, but respawns handling in this. I think there's a lot of people who essentially want to play this game solo, but then their solo experience is really difficult because a lot of abilities are squad based. You have to pay attention to your squad, and it's very difficult to do, right? And then even as a casual, I'm sure it's very hard to find the right squad and also solo queue together. And then when you run into a content creator who is, a, excuse me, of a higher skill level, that can be very insane. Got a hiccup there. It was pretty crazy. So now we're in this impasse where both creators and casuals are essentially both upset at one another. I'm so dead. Rip me. I'll be able to spawn back in in a second. I don't know if the L team is going to even be back if I spawn back out. We'll crawl away, but this gives us time to really talk. This is a lot harder to really formulate your thoughts as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be very honest, but you know what? Maybe if I do this a lot, maybe we'll get better at it. So the fact that this is a squad based game, and this is what I teach on my channel. This is why I'm bringing it up, by the way, is the fact that you are supposed to play as a squad. You're supposed to improve and practice together as a team. And even if you're playing with randoms, you're supposed to be a team-based player. I almost bled out. That was an accident. That was actually pretty scary. You heard the little... Oh, hello? Thank you. Appreciate you. And we gotta go get our other buddy. Alright, let's reposition over there. See if we can save him. I mean, right now, we were playing with... 
with randoms right now, and it, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but it's not the hardest thing either. But that's the whole point of the game. Squad base, you play as a squad, you play together. And so content creators get upset because the solo experience isn't ideal and isn't perfect for that because it's really hard to. So let's talk about Respawn's hand in this. Well, skill-based matchmaking is supposed to protect players that are new and people who are not necessarily as skilled at the game and finding their footing, right? But skill-based matchmaking essentially punishes the content creator, which they get upset about. Now, I mean, content creators are there just to be flashy and kind of show off and, you know, they're trying to get good content, which is why I think... I don't really understand the, the why Reddit people dislike content creators. I don't know if anybody from Reddit's ever going to watch this video. I highly doubt it. I don't think any content creator is going to watch this video, which is why I'm don't I'm not really hesitating on like calling out a content creator for being a you know like guys. I mean they're going to play as a squad. What else are they going to do? You know what I mean? Uh oh, I'm dropping off. We don't want to be isolated by myself. Healing you. Okay, I'll play with him for a second. So there's there's a lot of frustration when it comes to content creators, but this is why I'm trying this new format to really, I don't know, not necessarily be down to earth, but I'm just trying to see if I can understand and maybe be more of a glue for the community and talk about things like this. Because I mean, as we enter the game, the biggest problem that we're seeing with Respawn's hand and trying to help this is, so they're going up, they're going down. What are they doing? I don't know which one's real. Which one is real? Oh my gosh. Trying to heal one of them. There you go. That is really hard to do talking and trying to figure out which one is real and which one's not. That's insane. And they're all above and they're all getting smacked by my ult. The flank over here. I mean, you see this. Like, this is. The, I guess you could say this is a good example right now of a lot of sweat going on, a lot of people really put in oh my gosh i just got absolutely beamed trying to win right oh gosh let's get around the corner real quick so we respawn trying to fix this for people and trying to put in safe gates like skill-based matchmaking or making sure we protect the the newer players from actually getting stomped which is what the content creators essentially want for easier content. They don't necessarily want the easier lobbies, at least I don't think they do. I think personally that it looks better for content if you're fa facing off against a team that is higher skilled. I mean, when you see this mess, and I'm trying to like coordinate and trying to be with them all the while, trying not to embarrass myself. I'm almost low on ammo, I guess. You can find an angle. Oh my gosh, jeez. Have we have we able to get eliminated once? I almost forgot this was the same lobby. That's insane. Oh, hello. Gotta reload. Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought to, to talk and do this, so... <clears throat> excuse me, let me just sincerely apologize that this first episode of trying this... It's probably gonna be a failure. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm gonna post it anyways, because I, I want your feedback. Because even if I spend a lot of time trying to perfect this, you guys might say, Daz, this really sucked. I hate where your thought process was. I hate your gameplay or whatever. I don't know. You guys can... Maybe that's the whole point of the episode, right? To really understand what people are really looking for in terms of their content these days. Because we are approaching to the point where we're reaching year four and the discrepancy of what it means to be a good player and a bad player, the gap is just widening, becoming a lot more difficult than it ever has been, right? I don't have any more cells. I am completely out. That sucks. I don't even have a heal for that guy. And we're doing damage. We got 2,000, but... I mean... It ain't a whole lot, unfortunately, at this... At this stage. I got nothing. I might as well just heal myself just so I can top off. Put this here, just for defense. I can't do anything. I'm As crazy as it is, I have nothing. And I guess let's talk about the LTM. The LTM I thought was a fantastic way to really improve in practice, but it is true. You do run into these scenarios where the mode is definitely a lot sweatier. And that's because of skill-based matchmaking. Keep in mind that, that I'm a, a, uh, a small test or a, a, a sample size of a, you could, I guess you could say of a larger group. Oh, shoot. Rezzing, rezzing, rezzing. Uh, I thought that was a head it was a headshot, just not what I wanted. I have no heals. As a med kit. 
This is the most down bad I've ever been in this game mode. This is insane. So what are the fixes for this? Let's think about that. What are the fixes for this? I think that everyone just kind of has to come to terms with the fact that it's not going to be... Everyone is trying for the same goal. A casual wants to win. A content creator wants to win for content. And everyone is just wanting to win, right? So we're not going to necessarily find a middle ground. I think that casuals are just as sweaty as sometimes content creators. I mean, we're all trying to win. Even if you're just on your couch, I mean, you want to win, right? You want to try. And I think the frustrating part is when content creators get upset that people are three stacking as well. Well, how can you blame them? The whole point of this game is to, to try and win. I'm just bouncing around here as I'm just trying to think and position myself well. Oh my gosh, I'm so dead. I just don't have a whole lot. Oh, I can drop. Yeah, I'm going to try to drop. This might be it right here. So when we think about fixes for this, people are, who are watching this content, I'm kind of making this video for you guys because I don't think that a lot of casuals per se watch my content. And when I say casuals, I mean, there's a difference between a casual. And I think that somebody's trying to improve could be casual. But I mean, still, you're trying to get better than the average player, right? And if you're trying to get better, does that put you in a different bracket? And if watching a video makes you sweat and that's too much, is that a bad thing? Because I mean, all I tell you guys, you know, make sure you isolate opponents, play together as a team, try to play smart, utilize positioning. I mean, those are technically, I guess you could say, sweaty concepts of what I'm trying to teach, right? Cue again if it'll let us. I had absolutely no kills. That's, that's insane. And eight knocks and absolutely no kills. That's probably the most embarrassing gameplay of myself that I've had in a hot minute. I'm just going to post it because that's just what we do. Let's go 46 minutes. Are they extending this? That's a little interesting. Okay. While we have a moment, let's recap our thoughts and what we've talked about. And then I guess maybe we'll wrap up midway through. Maybe we just go do an LTM real quick because it's a lot shorter. Yeah, let's try to do an LTM and try to hone in on some of these thoughts and then post this video and then hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much, essentially. The, this is what I'm trying to get across. And somebody's in a timestamp and said, Daz, you should just post this section. I was like, yeah, well, I'm not really playing and I think it's supposed to be entertaining us playing and doing something together, right? Is content creators want to win and they want easy content. This is a squad-based game. And if they get wide swung, they have to understand casuals want to win as well. I, I just don't understand. I guess this is just me. I, I, I wonder, because people were saying that content creators are out of touch. and But I understand what a casual is going through. I, I understand the problems and the frustrations that are arising there. It looks like we're going to play Watson. It's, I haven't played Watson in a minute. And then respawn and the fact that if you can try to fix this by having three stacks play together... And then force solo players to just queue against one another so it's a lot more balanced, right? Because, I mean, three casuals who are well knowledgeable after four years of the game are still going to be able to, I think, beat a seasoned player who's trying to sweat pretty hard. Because we're at that point in the game where we're, we're it's like if we saw it on a graph where things are starting to, to meet together. And so I, I want people to come more collectively together on this subject. So then it doesn't feel like we're just anti aliasing is it disabled? Yeah, it is on some very nice. So then we're not just necessarily all getting mad at each other. And I've been seeing a lot of frustration about this across the board. A lot of people seem to be really upset about maybe maybe it's just the internet. Maybe it's just the, the state of the world. I, I know there's a lot going on and I see a lot of anger and frustration. I mean, everyone just wants to come home and relax, right? That's the casual mindset. And nobody necessarily wants to feel like their life is on the line, like you're playing an ALGS lobby. And I will admit, sometimes I even feel that tension is like, whoa, that was really crazy. And after a long day of work, that energy just doesn't feel like it's it should happen. And then for content creators, if the lobbies are that much harder, then essentially they are sweating much more. And it's becoming a lot more difficult to essentially play the game. And I guess that's really the reason why I'm making this video. And I did it in a roundabout way that took way too long, which I knew that's kind of how this format was going to be, that it was going to take a lot longer to get to the point. But I definitely just wanted everyone's uh, honest opinions. Oh my gosh, I got to... Oh, hi. I'm so dead, though. That's crazy. I can tell from your shooting and 
and I, I this format listen we will try it again but I, I i didn't want it to f I, I, the biggest thing i wanted to try to get here is you guys hearing me more authentically hearing my thoughts on this while gaming and still i'm not sugarcoating anything and so i'm not just feeding you guys a line of crap essentially and you guys know that i'm sincerely thinking about this and you're just hearing my raw unfiltered thoughts on it the videos will be longer it'll be looped in a way and maybe i was like it could be interesting because what if i say something i didn't really realize i could think about with you guys and you guys can point out flaws on my logic and then it add more to the conversation of what's really happening in apex legends but i think the future of this game is really important so let's talk about the future as we kind of wrap up here is that the future of this game means as as it keeps living longer even a casual as they continue to learn, will start to become a well-versed player. And what it means to be a casual is going to start to really shift and change. In terms of that definition. Like, if somebody's been playing this game for three years and, and is on Reddit upset, are, are they considered a casual anymore? Or maybe a new player. Let's, let's put the definition. Let's split them, right? You have a new player, and then you have a casual. A casual could be somebody who's really skilled at the game, right? In reality but just plays casually and just doesn't necessarily put in a lot of hours all the time to play and so I think it's maybe it's important to have that distinction as well to really split and understand like what we're dealing with here I will admit having such a complex conversation I probably said it a million times today already but it does impress me how difficult it is. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting the guy right there. I heard the shot, but I wasn't expecting it. But I am excited for the future of Apex. But I, I just, I know that viewership is, is a little lower. And I know that there's a lot of games that have come out this year. Oh, here's another interesting subject that I wanted to add on to this. Hi. Hi. Is that even for casuals, I think that there's so many games that have come out that are fantastic, by the way. Single player experiences. We think about Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, uh, uh, Spider-Man 2. I mean, think of all the games, uh, Starfield. There's so many games that have come out and it's been so hard to keep up. I'm, by the way, I have not played any of those listed games and it makes me really sad that I haven't played those games. And the reason why it makes me sad is because I not that I feel I feel stuck on Apex. I love Apex. Is that if I feel like if I take a break and let's say I took time to play Baldur's Gate three and I spent I don't know three hundred hours. That's three hundred hours that I'm not getting better at Apex and sharing educational content with you guys. I already have a limited schedule, so though that time is really important to really maximize. And so I I feel the same struggle as you guys because I'm like I can't play any of those games because there's flat out no time. So if I feel that way, I have to imagine that all of you guys feel that way. In terms of putting in time and then if you take a break from this game and come back then the player base is just infinitely more difficult or has improved and skill-based matchmaking by the way it is not very favorable whatsoever oh my gosh what am i doing at all in regards to any sort of leniency like you disappear for a couple months and the game's like don't worry you can face a uh, tsm today right you good you ready to you fair to face off against tsm you win those you win those right and for a casual, I'm sure that's incredibly frustrating. You want to go play Super Mario, then come back, but then your experience is just jointed because people are still sweating in this game, right? Now, maybe this is a, the same problem that Fortnite has been running into as well. Because Fortnite has been running into the issue with like no build. How do you ease those people who want to play still, but not necessarily ostracize them from deterring them from this game? And that is also my biggest frustration. It's it's what I'm trying to help all of you guys as well by sharing kind of the whole point of the channel, sharing the experience of trying to improve in a condensed amount of time, giving you guys the resources to improve because I think the resources are there and they're better than ever, but not necessarily having to put in an excessive amount of time. Now, unfortunately there are gonna be some concepts that do require time and that's probably the most frustrating part. Now, the bigger question is, is Apex the type of game that people are going to want to continue to play for decades? Kind of like a League of Legends where we all still remember it, but are still enjoying the experience no matter what it is. I I worry because, I mean, that's kind of the future of FPS titles in general and improving. And I kind of feel like FPS is a genre 
because of that is struggling because people are getting so good. When we think about these games years and years ago, they are monumentally different in terms of standard, in terms of aim and everything. Right now I'm actually using a different mouse, kind of practicing right now, kind of doubling up. So my time playing right now is kind of doubling up and practicing as well, just in case you're kind of curious. Oh my God, I almost got him. No, they got away. I haven't played Watson at and it's kind of, kind of fun to do. Hello. So we kind of went on even more of a discussion and there's going to be a lot to discuss. And I'm sure this video will do horrible view wise. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I don't know what I, cause I'm gonna be honest. I'm very quick to admit if I'm, if I'm wrong. Okay. I will hop into calls. I'm always willing to discuss, but I, I want everybody to always be willing to have a conversation. And even if there's somebody on Reddit who wants to have a conversation about this kind of stuff, please, please reach out. I mean, hit me up in DMS. I will be more than happy to start up a series where we have these conversations because I think this is important to the general health of the game because we're all part of the same community. Whether you're a pro or whether you're a casual, whether you play sweaty, whether you come back every once in a month and in a while. I think everybody's thought process is important here because I think we're moving on to something with Apex that's a little bit more, I guess you can call it definitive. I can't see. I just, I'm gonna be honest, I was very lucky. I could not see anything. I'm just shooting in the general direction. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. So I extend this and we can do it while gaming and talking like this. I, I kind of think that format would be kind of fun. I guess I'll try to time timestamp this. That'll be difficult because my thought process is all over the place. But I think we can kind of get there. At this point, I might as well just wrap up the round of you guys watching. I'm not really sure if I have, I'm the new ratings leader. Are you sure? Do you want that? Bro, he armor swat this crazy. 3,300 damage. I guess this is not bad. It's funny I say that's not bad and then somebody will comment and be like, Daz, you're sweating super hard. I suppose, I mean, we all rely on fundamentals. So maybe I'm out of touch with this, kind of why I'm making this video. I want to understand. I want to be able to share my content better. I, I don't want to be out of touch. I want to be like the cool kids. But how do you become a cool kid? I don't know anymore. But I, I really do think, and so the, the title wasn't necessarily clickbait. I started to worry and I was like, do people just not like content creators? Like, I, I really thought about that. I'm like, I was like, but I'm, I'm a person who is like in the same boat. Like I'm a dad, I'm, I'm a gamer. I, yeah, I put in time and I try to share that journey and I try to help others. And I was like, so am I the problem? Am I, am I not understanding? So I'm kind of calling myself out on that. That's my thought process. But if I'm also out of touch, I kind of just want to know. Because keep in mind the things I want in Apex Legends, that whenever I try to think about what you guys, maybe more casual audience or a sweat, I think there's a middle ground, you know? I think there's, you can't just cater 100% to the pros. Here's a good one to end on. This is a good, this is a good, good thought process here. You can't 100% cater to the pros and you can't 100% cater to the casuals. We need pro players to inspire casuals to want to get better, right? And you need casuals because they are the heart of your game. Oh my God, this is going to wrap up perfectly. Maybe this video will do after all. And you want it to line up to where without pros, nobody has anybody to look up to essentially or aspire to. Uh, and then if you don't have the casual base to build them up and be there for them, then you don't really have anything, a leg to stand on. It's like the stands aren't filled. There's no sponsors. Nobody cares. Right? So there's that horrible middle ground that we have to deal with. I hope that people don't hate, hate content creators. I, if any of this happens to magically get posted on Reddit, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. Sorry, the video is all over the place, but that's kind of the whole point where you're hearing just me authentically. I'll be better about not picking as complex topics in the future.
I promise. And I'll do better on this, but I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm going to throw it out there because I think it's important. And if somebody happens to watch this while you're on your TV, on your couch, and you're vibing, and it feels like you hung out with me, I achieved that goal. That was that was my one goal. If you felt like you were here with me, and you had a, it felt like you were part of the conversation, and that you were playing the game with me in any way, shape, or form, I think that's the dub. That's, that's the only thing I'm shooting for, and that I care about at this point. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you watched to the end, you got a comment uh, let me know if you watched to this point in the video because that's insane and i appreciate and love you for it thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe see you guys all in the next one